Welcome to Flat Out Truth Movie Reviews with me, Cameron Flat. I have a weird love for the original three Pirates of the Caribbean movies. They are full of nonsensical plots, wildly inconsistent acting, and enough broken laws of physics to rival the number of laughs not had at the jokes of this series. However, Johnny Depp is normally awesome as Jack Sparrow, the effects are normally cutting edge, I normally care about the characters, and there is normally an interesting and scary bad guy. I use the modifier normally because none of these qualities are present in Pirates of the Caribbean 5, Dead Couriers Don't Say No to Lucrative Sequel Opportunities. And here is the flat out truth on Pirates of the Caribbean 5. This time, Britton Thwaites plays Henry Turner, son of Orlando Bloom's William Turner, as he seeks to break his father's debt to the Flying Dutchman by finding the Trident of Poseidon. Jack Sparrow also needs the Trident to defeat the latest cursed ghost captain chasing him down. Here played by Javier Bardem. Kea Scodelario also wants to try it because I don't know. I'm not sure if that is because I couldn't be bothered to remember or if the movie could not be bothered to come up with a good reason. So let's start off with the positives, as few as there are. The writers did try to break away from a hollow female lead by making Karina a knowledgeable astronomer and a central player in finding the treasure. We'll talk about that more in just a second. Also, the costume and makeup work is pretty great. There's a lot of detail put into this stuff. I especially like that they make a lot of characters look as though they have spent a lot of time in the sun, as sailors would. Other than that, this movie is pretty awful. I was bored through most of the action, 95% of the jokes fall completely flat, and I am more emotionally invested in the two guys from those annoying Sonic commercials than anything that goes on in this movie. Also, isn't this supposed to be a family action adventure made by Disney? I kept forgetting that because Pirates 5 can't go two minutes without making some sort of sex joke. And like the rest of the jokes in this garbage script, they are painfully unfunny. I wish that I could say that the action at least partially saved this headache masquerading as a film, but the camera work and editing are so bad that I couldn't tell what was going on half the time, and the other half was boring and excruciatingly slow. It was even worse for nighttime action scenes because the darkness only added to the confusion. I also wish I could say that the new characters at least bring some new life to this overbeaten horse, but they are no help at all. Bardem is clearly working as hard as he can to wring every bit of potential character out of this script, but there is simply nothing there to wring out. Turner Jr. has as much personality as a barnacle, and Thwaites does not have a fourth the cool that Orlando Bloom has. As far as the Karina character is concerned, I appreciate the writers wanting to do more with a female lead, but it is as if they simply wrote smart and sassy on the chalkboard during the brainstorming session and called it a day. She has more personality than the other characters in this movie, but I think a lot of that should actually be credited to the actress's performance. Also, she spends about a third to a half of her screen time tied up. I'm serious, I can't wait for someone to time it and get that actual number. It is actually really creepy. Okay, I know that reviews are supposed to be focused on one thing, but there is so much bad here I just had to get it all out and I know that there are things I am forgetting. Bring all of this together, and I do not recommend Pirates of the Caribbean 5 at all. It isn't a, oh, let's just watch a movie with a group of people and talk over it movie. It isn't a, oh, let's laugh at how bad it is movie. It's a, why did I just spend two hours watching a terrible retread of a much better film movie? I give it a D only because the technical crew showed up to play. Please do not go see this. Instead, go to your local art house theater and support an independent movie of quality rather than feeding the increasingly unstoppable Disney machine. I'm serious, they're getting scary.